o'clock and here you're looking live in Fort Myers, Florida. This is Hurricane Irma making its way up Florida's west coast, now a category two storm. The storm already ripped through Miami to the south, causing a second crane now to collapse in downtown Miami. In nearby Fort Lauderdale, seats are flooded with the storm surge as it picked up there. Wind damaged buildings and trees, leaving debris all over the street. More than 2.1 million customers have lost power since the hurricane hit the state. President Trump has also signed a major disaster declaration. Three people have died in the storm there. Irma is now headed to Tampa. Let's get to Jay Gray for the very latest. Jay. Good evening. We are in the heart of downtown Naples right now. In every direction you look, there is water moving in. Alarms are sounding here. There are trees down, power lines down, and there is still more to come from Irma. Ravaging the Keys early, Irma is now unleashing its fury across the state. Hurricane force winds tearing away roofs, tossing aside signs, and testing the limits of most everything in their path, including two massive construction cranes seemingly hanging by a thread. Driving rains, mixing with a storm surge that continues to push water into places it's never been before, including Brickle Avenue in downtown Miami. Water also covers the only road in and out of the Keys. And the surf is inching closer now to homes along the intercoastal canal in Fort Lauderdale. Hoping for the best, thinking of another. Worried about our friends. You can't help but worry. This couple was pulled from their sailboat by sheriff's deputies near West Palm Beach as the storm and waves poured in. It's my home, it's everything I own, so I was doing everything I could to save it, um, and it just got out of hand. FEMA continues to monitor the situation, ready to deploy assets and coordinating their response from Washington. Our mission here at the federal level in support of local efforts is very simple. Wherever Hurricane Irma goes, we'll be there first. Where Irma is going next is Tampa. Dogs played along the empty shoreline earlier. The winds that pulled the waves away from the coast expected to shift, creating a surge that could push the bay water into the city. Yeah, and water from the surge is building here, will continue to build as the wind picks up. We're through the eye now, the backside of the storm moving through and will continue to terrorize the Florida coast. That's the latest live here in downtown Naples. Now back to you.